What's up, everyone? You singing along with the Bid Nerd song? I'm sure you are. You know the words because there's only two of them. Bid Nerds. I don't know. There's probably some other words in there. It's not a real song. We kind of made it up. Uh, my name is John Polnick. I'm recording this episode right here from the downtown Las Vegas Container Park. If you ever in downtown Las Vegas, off just off of... Uh, actually, we're on Fremont Street, uh, just down the road from the Fremont Street Experience. Come and say hello at the Rami Studio where we do this show along with my partner Michael Deeb in his brand new studio in San Francisco. Check that out, guys. Look at him. He's all fancy. Look at that. Show cool. off Michael Deeb. What do you got there, mm -hmm. man? Yeah, man. I'm going to try and display a different piece of art every day. That's a good idea. That's a good yeah, idea. All right. Let's, I, I'm all for that. Look, uh, it, Michael Deeb did a lot of work to build this studio. What did you do? Nothing. If you haven't yep. hit the subscribe button, if you hit the subscribe button, he did it for you. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, I still did it for you. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, our producer, our producer Patootie isn't here. She would give you a really, really dirty look. Uh, hit the subscribe, right. like, notification button right now <laughs> to uh, help grow this channel. We really appreciate you guys being here. Uh, if you're new to the channel and you're wondering what the heck this channel is about, what we do is we find cars. The most it is about cars. We dig through all cars. the cars on all the automotive enthusiast auction sites, P Car Market, Bring a Trailer, Mark, Shiftgate, whoever else is selling, yep. slinging cars. We don't really look through eBay much because, you know, that doesn't count. <laughs> they don't uh, sell but, anything. Uh, they, don't, yeah, they don't sell anything. Uh, we find the most interesting car of the day. We uh, talk about that car. We have a big old discussion about what's good, what's bad, why it's the most interesting car. It's not always the most expensive, not always the most uh, rare, but certainly the most interesting car of the day. We love to get... Uh, suggestions from you guys so if there's a car coming up in the future you see in an auction you want us to talk about it let us know in the comments below and maybe we'll uh maybe we'll have a conversation about the car that you suggest in the future uh but the big thing about this show is at the end after we have this big conversation you know we're recording this before the cars auction ends so at but at the end of the show we jump into the future we we get into our delorean time machine and uh we <laughs> show you what happened were we right were we wrong You'll know at the end of this episode, and let's see if you're as good at this as we are. Maybe you're better as you're watching the show. Put Definitely your better. Your bids in the comments. Let it, and then uh, we'll be able to reconcile those at the end of the episode and see if you did as well as us. We'll send you a sticker if you're better than us at it. Uh, all right, what yeah. is today's most interesting car of the day, Michael Deeb? Boom. JP, come on. We talk about this all the time. I, I have a soft spot for Volkswagens. I don't know why. Uh, Jason Kamis, I think, owns this exact car. Um, and uh, he's got like a, I don't want to disclose everything, but he's got like a hot motor in his. Um, and so he loves driving around and somebody will roll up to him in his Volkswagen Cabriolet. Uh, and then he'll blow their doors off because his car is actually a rocket. This 1990 Volkswagen Cabriolet on Bring a Trailer that's offered out of Bangor, Maine. I don't even know where that is. Uh, Bangor, Maine um, is in spectacular original condition with just 64,000 original miles. It's worth noting this is a no reserve auction. So this car is going to sell. Um, it, I, I went on a little tirade about a car we were looking at last week and I was wondering where all the Volkswagen people are. Um, a couple of days later, JP, a 1984 Volkswagen Rabbit convertible, also with low miles and an original condition, sold for $26,000. So as this car comes up sort of the following week, I thought instead of just noticing it, we should actually cover it because I suspect this car could also bring over $20,000. When you look at it and see it in this condition and being a Cabriolet, a little bit younger, probably a little bit nicer. This car was manufactured by Carmen in Germany. So this is a German built car, not a Mexican or Brazilian uh, assembly line car. Uh, th there might be some value here. And, and this one looks to be in spectacular sort of collector car condition. Um, we used to make fun of these when we were in our 20s. If you saw a girl driving one of these, we had plenty of dirty nicknames for a car like this. Uh, but now as I'm an old man and, and Radwood has made what I grew up with cool, I got to tell you, JP, I, I wouldn't be afraid to drive this car, especially since it's got a five-speed manual and it's triple, quadruple white, white 
paint, white top, white interior, and white wheels. I mean, this thing, uh, this is this to me is almost rad. Uh, what do they call it? Radwood royalty? Is it not? JP, what do you think of this Mark One Cabriolet in all white? Come on, please tell me you're not going to poop on this car and that you think it's cool. I'm not the only one, right? If you pooped on this car, you would stain it horribly because it's, it's got true. white everything. Uh, I love this car. I love this oh. car. I love this car. It's so nostalgic. Um, you know, I mean, movies from License to Drive, uh, 21 Jump Street, one of these was featured. Uh, <laughs> right. You know, it, look, this was the oh car. God. This was, if there was a girlfriend in an 80s movie this was what she yeah. drove uh and yeah. the hottest chicks in high school always had one of these if That's you right. went out and did the cruise in the 80s or 90s you were always looking for uh one of these because that's what chicks the girls, in a cab it was always yeah. going to be four chicks in the bucket um yeah <laughs> the bucket look I, in the fun the crazy thing i mean it's a mark one Volkswagen. I mean, this is a rabbit. This is, you know, they came, they, they hung around. This car was introduced, what, 1980? Um, and went yeah. all the way 81. to 93 yeah. or 94, actually. I think yep. it went as far as yep. 94. That's, um, yep. I think you're and right. I want to say in 88, they introduced the ground effects package and the, you oh. know, the headlights, the like GTIs and everything. I, you know, I had a, I want to say an 85 or 86 for a little while, just for fun, uh, and beat the, had one of the best summers in it ever. Um, um, and as goofy as I looked, you know, the funny thing was that girls liked being in them. Unlike my 914, girls hated being in that car, but this car was just fun. Uh, and, you know, being a front-wheel drive Volkswagen, it was fun to drive. It was zippy, oh, had that man. little 1.8 liter, liter, you know, inline four-cylinder. Uh, this being a later one, yeah, it has, you know, the power windows and the airbag and stuff like that. This power is a car. Steering. Yeah, uh, this is a car that, you know, even to the big problem is I get asked pretty commonly. I don't know about you, Deep. Uh, you know, friends yep. ask us, oh, my teenager is getting a car. What should we get them? And, you know, yep. it always winds up having to be something kind of lame because there's all these cool cars that were awesome when we were younger uh, that I want to suggest. But, you know, come on. Th these older cars are dangerous. You right. don't want to be in a Mark One rabbit. Uh, and teenagers <laughs> drive like idiots. Uh, at least it's this true. one has a, has an airbag. Uh, but is that really an airbag uh, that you want going off in the face no. of your kid? Uh, no. uh, you know, 30 year airbag. Uh, so this yeah. car is definitely reserved for. Uh, this is not a car I would call safe. Uh, you know, crumple zones pretty much weren't by today's thing. standards. Yeah. yeah, I mean they, they weren't terrible. You know, this is a convertible with a roll bar uh, from the factory, which is kind of cool. Um, but uh, dang, yeah, this is just a great. Uh, this is definitely radwood material. Um, you know, get get your wife to tease up her hair and uh, yeah. get some uh, day glow get green stuff and a go for it. As fun as this car would be to drive for me or for you, I think mm -hmm. this car would look smoking hot if Rochelle were driving it or Esther were driving it. For sure. I think uh, the girls would get a ton of attention rolling up to Radwood in this like just, I mean, such iconic, almost cliche quadruple white uh, golf, you know, Volkswagen Cabriolet. I, I just absolutely love it. And I think this car is going to do well. Now that 84 that I mentioned that that brought twenty six thousand, I think two hundred dollars. I'm going from memory. I believe that car had under forty thousand miles on it, but this car only has sixty four thousand miles, which is absurdly low. It just never see them in this condition. I love that it's on the platform. I'm shocked. Uh, it's a no reserve auction. I'm shocked it's still under ten grand as we're covering it. John, the current bid is ninety seven hundred dollars. It doesn't close for a handful of days. It closes sort of let's say the end of the week. Um, in uh, time travel speak. Uh, and, but it is on 12 bids. I do think this car is going to get a lot of action. Um, I love that it's on here. So are you ready for me to give you my bid? Well, I mean, I will say that, uh, you know, driving, you had mentioned what we would look like driving this car around. It would look like, uh, <laughs> you know, you ha we would have to do that ironically, like my hat. Right? I totally, this is, yeah, exactly. Uh, you know, a 20 something year old guy could get away with it because, you know, look, at our age, anything that looks stupid is probably <laughs> cool, or at least what we think looks stupid is probably actually cool. So I think this car's like that. Look, I also wanted to mention that this engine, uh, <laughs> this gives me a combination <laughs> of, of anxiety <laughs> and nostalgia because I spent so I had so many Volkswagens uh, during the 80s and 90s, and they all had 
they were all this engine. It was all this inline four <laughs> cylinder, you know, horizontally opposed four cylinder, uh, you know, four banger thing uh, with the eight valve. I know, I know exactly what it takes. Like taking this valve cover off is something I've done a million times. Changing the injector plugs in the back. Like I, this car, <laughs> I'm not a mechanic, but this car is a car. If there's any engine powertrain that I could fix. Um, it's this one. Uh, yeah. I, but were, I don't want you to. Were, be, if you're you were right the first. You were right the first time. It's an inline four. It's not a horizontally opposed. That's a the Subaru horizontal, layout. That's a Subaru, <laughs> yeah. Sorry, my yeah. bad. Well, but yeah, it, yeah, no, no. It's, it's... Well, hold on, though. Okay, so... It's no, an inline uh, four. It's an inline four, but it's horizontally mounted. An inline four would be one that's uh, longitudinal as opposed to... I, trans, transverse. Transverse? Is that Transver what they, what they transverse. would call it? Transverse, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. So transverse, yeah. So we're yeah, yeah so because yeah, I think when you say inline, that's usually means well, that it's, horizontally opposed is when the pistons do this to each other and they like call a flat a boxer four, engine, yeah, boxer a box right. exactly, yeah. Got it. Getting my so terminology this is trans, all screwed up. Transverse like a Honda and and everything else uh, from that era, but um, yeah. Now, how easy would it be, JP, to to pull this 1.8 out and drop a, a GTI motor in there and actually make the car? You know, a little more fun to drive. Well, which GTI motor? Like a 16 valve four cylinder? Yeah, uh, that 16 would be valve pretty easy. Liter. People, you yeah. could you could ease. I mean, well, easy, but Just you could enough. lump a yeah. you could lump a VR6 in here. Actually, I think the engine to throw into this thing would be a would be like a, a diesel TDI because it would have all Ooh. kinds of torque. <laughs> uh, it would fit super yeah. easy, and uh, you don't really want to go 200 miles an hour in this thing. So no, um, or even 100. Start uh, to plus, shake. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. No, love this car. Okay, what's your number? JP, I, again, with that 84 in mind that brought 26 grand, I think this car is going to break the $20,000 ceiling. I think, I believe this car will bring $22,000. And I want to reiterate to you, this is a no reserve auction. So no matter what, it's going to sell. Yeah, I mean, the that trouble, other... The, the trouble, John, I just want to remind you, it's in Maine. It's way the heck out there. So if, if you're down here with the rest of the first world... Uh, you might have to consider the twenty five hundred dollars to get that car. You know, that's that's in an open trailer. Twenty five hundred bucks to get it home. You know, this is a car you want a road trip. Come on, I top agree, down, drive it across, but, drive it to California. This is so much. Fun. Absolutely, yeah. and it won't even so. cost you any gas. I mean, in you're in California, they're getting ready oh. to get rid of. Uh, you know, I gasoline cars. It. Uh, your state is crazy. Um, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Th that said, you know, so it won't cost you an arm and a leg to drive this across the country. Um, that that other one, that that '84 that went for so much money, everyone is talking yeah. about. It. It's all the buzz. Uh, who knew that the Volkswagen that would actually pop and and start a fire and get people going would be a cabrio uh, a rabbit I, convertible <laughs> yeah i mean i guess that i guess this country really isn't full of cabrio phobes it's uh it's yeah. uh uh boy yeah i, I gotta go to over you. i'm gonna go 24 Whoa. i think it's good Whoa, i mean this is man, better than an nervous. 84 an 84 it is. i mean 84 this is the one you want 84s look kind of stupid i don't like them without the the ground effects kit and all that kind of fun stuff i think they look better in this later configuration they never really made a so, mark ii version um right they skipped to the so, mark three jp that black one had a black interior and if you can picture this with me do you remember the 924 porsche carrera gt had those black velour corduroy seats with the with the white pinstripes or the red oh, pinstripes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That rabbit convertible that 26 had a velour interior with white <laughs> vertical stripes, like pinstripes. And I was like, holy Porsche interior, Batman. That thing is awesome. So anyways, this car has it has those, uh, you remember those those window pane seats. Um, but yeah, we'll see. I, I mean, I get nervous when you bet over me. It makes me feel like I missed something. This car, uh, yeah, get it out of Maine before the snow comes, man. It gets really yeah. cold up there. I mean, that's a cool thing. You could buy this car uh, this week, and you know, get home. out there before Labor Day uh, or, yeah, Labor Day and do the whole kind of fun East Coast, uh, you know, Labor Day scene and then uh, drive it home back to someplace nice and warm. Um, all right, guys, what do you think? How much will this car go for uh, when its auction closes? Uh, we're going to find out right after you hit the subscribe, like, and notification button. Do it now! Okay, guys, I want to tell you about Vegas Auto Fest. 
the drivers are coming. This is one of our big sponsors. It's the biggest car show of the year in Las Vegas. It's one of the coolest car shows you can possibly experience anywhere. If you haven't made plans to be part of Vegas Auto Fest on September 17th, then do it now. Go to VegasAutoFest.com and register your car. You think you're a car enthusiast? Doesn't matter where you live, plan a trip to Vegas on September 17th and come out and see this show. It's like Monterey Car Week all in a day. Have you ever been to the Quail? Have you ever been to Works Reunion? Have you ever been to Amelia Island? All those car shows are amazing and great. Have you been to Luftkult? Sure, but Vegas Auto Fest is something special. Make a plan for September 17th. We'll see you in Vegas. Welcome back, everyone, to Bid Nerd, your daily nerd on the most interesting car of the day on all the automotive enthusiast auction sites. Look at that snap. Michael Deeb in the studio. Poof. We have poofed into the future. We grabbed a DeLorean uh, <laughs> and uh, we found ourselves one week in the future right here to the end of this Volkswagen's auction so that we can bring it to you in this video. Let's tell you what happened with this Volkswagen, what'd you call it? You can go, we're well into three minutes of the show, so you can call it what it is, Michael Deep. It's a bitch bucket. It's a bitch bucket. Everybody exactly. calls it a bitch bucket. That roll bar looks like a handle, and especially when you see one in triple white, we, we always call them that. But anyways, JP, I'm kicking myself because I knew when you bet over me, I was in trouble. I, <laughs> and, and sure enough, so my 22,000 wasn't enough. Your 24,000 wasn't enough. Our car sold on Bring a Trailer for 26,500, which is nearly identical to that 84 with low miles that we referenced earlier that we had not covered, but certainly thought it was an interesting result, which brought this car forward. Um, 44 bids, JP, of all the cars we covered last week. This is the most amount of action. So certainly people were watching, and that previous car was also on Bring a Trailer. So I would say fans of the brand probably noticed that, and this car, did equally as well. 26,500 for a Volkswagen Cabriolet. John, does that knock your socks off? No, you're wearing socks still. Anyway, yeah. what do you think? Oh, uh, <laughs> good Lord. I the, Anyone that knows anything about cars right now is scouring Facebook and <laughs> OfferUp and, uh, you know, Craigslist. And Craigslist look, these are three or $4,000 cars, yeah. like nice ones, the nicest one ever. Uh, a nanosecond ago wasn't even worth 10. Yeah, um, eight grand. Yeah, right? So, and and again, I think, you know, we talked about it before the break. Of all the Volkswagens to, to bust through and break out and all of a sudden be worth something. <laughs> I know. How many Carrar 16 bells? You know, Corrados yeah. or 16 bells, Caracos, GLIs, yeah. all those things. You know, Mark II G G GTIs, none of them. A, a, a bitch bucket, white on white. <laughs> I mean, white on white, white on white. I it's did crazy. Johnny Depp buy this car? Is he I trying to relive his uh, Twenty One Jump Street days? Seriously, um, pretty funny. What do you guys think of the result of this thing? This is amazing. I I do actually kind of love this car. You know, I have a good friend of mine who's who I'm having a conversation with uh, over the last week or two. He's struggling to find his daughter a car yeah. for her to drive. And I, again, we talked about it before the break. Is this the car I would put her in? Probably not, because it's still just not a safe car, even though it has an airbag in it. Um, but I, but this was a car that came up in the conversation. He's like, yeah, I would love to. Uh, but uh, his, you know, the, his daughter's mom would probably not be too pleased if uh, she wound up in something like this. But she sure would look cool. This, I, I, I got... I got to think if you rolled to your high school parking lot in this. <laughs> yeah, that would be pretty funny. Are you to cool? Show to a reunion. Okay, here's the question. Um, did you watch, uh, what's the show, Arrested Development? I didn't, but no, go ahead. Never, okay, so I mean, I know who it is. Any, I, the any, cast is great. Yeah, any fans of Arrested Development? Was it Christopher? Guest. Pro Chris no, no. no, no, Christopher, Pro the... The, the never nude guy, the, the weirdest character on the whole show. He drove one of these. Is that I mean, right? This, this, sh this car is not a masculine car. No. <laughs> right? Not, not by any stretch. So it begs the question, are, are women getting into classic cars? Because did a, could a guy spend this kind of money on a, a like, Look, boy, we're, we're this is dangerous territory, but like yeah. most guys 
want classic cars for all kinds of reasons, right? It's reliving their their uh, youth. It's they they want to look cool. They like the analog thing, whatever your yeah. reason. But very rarely does a guy our age buy a car that they wanted in high school that isn't a car that's going to at least in in their mind make them look more masculine right right it, it may not you, you went but you but went that's... really far around the mountain to get that take <laughs> but i agree with you i will agree with you on that uh absolutely i mean i i would have loved uh there was a kid who's came from like you know uh, his family had a few bucks so he had like a 325 E or something when we were in high school and everybody thought that was like the coolest car because yeah. this guy was rocking a BMW to high school. You're like, come on, man. You know, so everybody wanted his car because it was the coolest car. Nobody wanted the, the Volkswagen thing. I mean, like I said, we've been calling them bitch buckets for for three yeah. decades or more. There know? is no car that is more closely associated with the cute chick, yeah. especially a white one. I mean, this was the license yeah. to drive uh, Heather. See, what's her name? Uh, Roller girl. What was the Heather Graham? Heather Graham. You know, that yeah. was her car. Didn't, didn't uh, they drive one of one of the other girly movies? Like uh, every movie, yeah, every, every girly movie. movie they, they all. Movie they with, all uh, yeah. I mean, what's the one Paltrow or no, not Gwyneth Paltrow. See, that's oh, this just makes my point. Does anybody <laughs> remember the movie with Gwyneth Paltrow where she in real life was a big fat chick. Oh yeah. yeah. And then the guy, <laughs> yeah. uh, gets shallow Hal. shallow Hal. Thank you. He gets it. Shallow Hal, right? Shallow Hal was kind of a weird dude. Yeah. And he Jack drove Black. one of these, right? And he, th this car, if you are a movie producer, if you're someone who is like the art director for a film and you're trying to match cars mm -hmm. with characters, and that's one of my favorite things to do Yeah, is, you know, some directors are really good at that. This is the car that you put, the hot little girl in, you know, yeah. or yeah, it's the easy one. It's a layup <laughs> or more, you know, you say, okay, you want the guy in the guy character to be, to knock him down a notch, to make him look ridiculous or to make him effeminate in some way. <laughs> He's driving this. Yeah. Hence the rest of development guy. Right. Uh -huh. uh, so I, yeah, I was pretty funny. Who bought this car <laughs> for that much money? Is there some chick now? Are there women our age that are going, all right, I wanted one of these in high school, but my dad didn't have any money. My, I didn't have the rich dad. He didn't, you know, buy me one of these. So I'm going to go ahead and get one now. Is this, I, 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 I don't know. I want to know. I, I want to find out who bought this thing. I will assert this. I think more men are cabriophobes where I think fewer women are cabriophobes. Women love cabrios. Absolutely. Women it's, love cabrios. Yeah. And you would too if you had long hair. Well, if I had any hair, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, most guys, um, they th they think they're going to get the cool car, and the cool car that they're going to get is going to somehow attract women to them, yeah. and so they get the most masculine, masculine, crazy car. Women don't want to drive in your, you know, yeah, sixty five Mustang Do or Dodge Demon or, or whatever. Yeah, what, they don't care. But if you get a cabrio, a nine eleven cabrio, oh, every girl wants to take be in your car. car. Sir yep. Mix a lot on my show Porsche Road Trip talked about the best car uh it, you know when he comes to Las Vegas he rents a turbo cab <laughs> with a wide body puts the girl in the right seat and they just cruise out in the <laughs> desert or down the strip there's nothing better so uh, don't be a cabriophobe listen to some mix a lot uh, all right yeah. so what do you guys think of this result guys yeah. um is this crazy money uh if you're a guy would you drive this car now is this car you wanted in high school uh, our friend Jason Camissa uh, drives one he loves it that's not the Jason I was oh you're thinking alter uh, our friend Jason alter had one and he got rid of it because he got too much ish for it uh, <laughs> Guys, what? Once again, we sold it too soon. You should have waited. You should put it on this week. Yeah. <laughs> what car would you buy but are too embarrassed to be seen in it? Is there a yeah. car that's out there that you like really secretly love, uh, but uh, are like, mm, yeah, I just I don't want to get take all the crap from all my friends? Uh, let us know in the comments below right after you hit the subscribe, like, and notification button. We really appreciate you guys for watching. We will see you no! tomorrow. <laughs> Get the word!